Darren, we've come down to Gretna, got a 4-1 result. Overall, are you, are you pleased with that performance and that result? Um, yes, it was a difficult game. It was The pitch was sticky, the heat obviously plays a part. Um, the biggest thing I'll take from today is Ben McPherson. Uh, he's been out a long time, came back after a year, looks incredibly fit and that's testament to the work he's done, um, the mental strength he's had and the staff that have worked with him. Um, so at the minute that's kind of where my, my mind is at. I'm so, so happy for him to see him back. Um, it's been a long road and one now that hopefully he can kick on. In terms of the conditions you spoke about there, I think it reached 30 degrees here today. How difficult were the conditions for the players? I never anticipated that in Scotland. There was never a problem normally with the water breaks we have to have. Um, I don't know the players I was roasting, so they must have been uh, struggling. That's something we touched on afterwards. We we struggled in the first half a little bit to break them down. Uh, and tactically, we weren't we weren't great. But what we could lean on was our physicality. We were fit. We looked very very strong and fit. And we've the last number of games now we've we've grown into it. The key is we're. We're not starting fast enough, um, so that's the next step that we can set a tempo from the very first minute rather than after 10 minutes. But the team looks fit and we had to lean on our kind of energy today. Um, and as the game grew on, I felt like we, there was only one team that was going to go on and score goals. Gretna scored in the opening two minutes. How pleased were you then with the, the players' reaction towards the end of that first half and into the second half to get four goals and to, to get the win? Yeah, you, you try to always, I suppose, spin a negative into a positive. We don't want to be conceding early. We've done that now in the last couple of games, which, listen, we're, we're clearly not um, happy with as a group. Um, but then the positive out of that is that tests your resolve, that tests um, your mentality as a group, and they never wobble. So there's a massive um, positive to take from that. Ideally, we're not in that circumstance. But we've been tested a few times this year. The things we talk on in training, it's it's all well and good talking in training when you're on a pitch and, and you go 1-0 down. We've been 2-0 down. The fact that the players have stuck to what we believe in as a group has been fantastic. But as I said, ideally we wouldn't be in that circumstance. A couple of late goals at the end. How much can that be put down to the fitness you were talking about earlier and the players' ability to go to the 90th minute? It's everything. It's everything. So <clears throat> the work they do, we can't play in this style without fitness without um, being conditioned really, really well. So that's testament from day one. Um, since they've come in, the work the players have put in, they're in a place now that they know they can they can stick at what we want to do. The, the whole basis of what we're doing is intensity. Um, today, didn't it didn't suit us too much because there was a lot of stoppages, the water breaks, um, and as I said, the pitch was a little bit sticky, but we don't want to make excuses. We want to try come to all these environments and play in our style. And as I've said, the, the players have stuck to that everywhere we've been this season. So we can take massive positives from that. But the, the fitness levels from the players has been a massive part and will play a massive part for us going forward.